Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Wine Rookie Tasting. On today's episode, we are introducing a new offering from Trader Joe's. The Trader Joe's wine reviews seem to outperform brand name wine reviews in my video analytics. So we're going to keep on that trend and uh, try a new wine today. So this is Trading Post by Trader Joe's. This is made exclusively for Trader Joe's by a winery in the heart of Napa Valley. And Trader Joe's promises that you will still receive the outstanding quality that you receive from their reserve label wines and their Grand Reserve and Platinum, but for a longer running time to ensure that everyone gets their hands on this one and everyone can try it who wants it. So this Trading Post wine is 2022 vintage Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. It consists of 88% Cabernet Sauvignon, 6% Merlot, and 6% Petit Verdot. It comes in at 14.5% ABV, and it is $19.99 at your local Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has been trending on Instagram and TikTok for a while now with a lot of their products, and so we're going to see if this trading post lives up to the hype. Let's open it up and find out. All right, everybody, we have our 2022 vintage Cabernet Sauvignon trading post by Trader Joe's poured out, and we're going to go ahead and take a closer look. The first thing we always look at is the visual aspects of a wine. So we look directly down the stem, and we notice that this is a deep purple color. Um, that color indicates that uh, it's going to be a healthy wine. We also know that that deep color is very typical for wines like Cabernet. They have these thick skins. And that concentrates this uh, rich color into the wine. So we know this is very typical kind of deep Cabernet Sauvignon color. After that, what we want to do is we want to look at our olfactory senses. We're going to smell the wine and assess the flavor compounds. Uh, if this is your first time here at the channel and you're just getting into wine, uh, we do that by swirling the glass. So what this does, this coats the inside of the glass in the wine. Uh, the alcohol is much more volatile to air and oxygen than uh, the rest of the wine. So that evaporates and uh, we are very good at smelling that and assessing those as flavor compounds. So here we go. I get these red fruit characteristics right off the bat. I get cherry and raspberry and red currant. Um, and as far as oak goes, it's very minimal on the on the nose, uh, and I mostly get vanilla. Very enticing and inviting uh, bouquet here, and it just makes me really want to try it. So here we go. Again, these really bright and ripe red fruits mostly cherry here, hint of raspberry. Uh, and on the palate, I get vanilla and retro olfactory, this nice like kind of sweet tobacco, very delicious. The tannins are young and kind of aggressive. Although there's not, I wouldn't say that there's, it's like a medium tannin wine, uh, medium bodied and medium acidity. It's well balanced, I think, uh, what qualities is what's winning me over here because outside of that, it's not a remarkable Cabernet Sauvignon. For $20, I think you can find something much better. I've had significantly greater quality uh, platinum reserves, which sell for $14.99 at Trader Joe's uh, than this one here. I'd say it's a little atypical of a Napa Cab from what I've tasted in the past. 
Uh, but it's quite delicious. And again, the winning factor here is that it's just extremely well balanced with all the qualities of this wine. Because it's lacking on those tannins and it's only a medium tannin wine, I would go ahead and pair this with uh, maybe pork instead of beef. Uh, and then I think this would go really great with one of those fun infused cheddars, maybe do like a caramelized onion cheddar cheese here. Uh, I think it'd be really delicious on a cheese board. If you enjoy Trader Joe's Wines and you want to keep checking out Trader Joe's Wine Reviews, we have plenty already posted on the channel, and we've got a lot more coming up in the future. So hit that subscribe button to watch them all. We'll see you again for another Wine Rookie Tasting. Cheers, everybody.